Okay, and this deck is Evo Sword. Uh, this video is going to be about Evo Sword, and this deck has existed since Ultimate Coliseum. Uh, it got some upgrades in World Uprooted. It also lost some cards. But um, right now, uh, the way this deck plays is it's basically a mid range deck, you know, true, true sword style mid range deck, follower based. Um, and essentially, the way it wins is through boards, and a lot of the cards in this deck have Evo synergy. So some cards have free evos that are either free, like actually free, or the conditional. Like say this card, Twin Sword Master, which is very conditional. Right, need a commander to activate it, or like this card, Leisha. She will evolve for free if you can play an officer alongside her. So a lot of cards give you evo for, for free, so that allows you to get your evo count up. And then some cards get stronger when you evo them, like this one, Luxbait Ariet. It's got a bunch of effects. Uh, there are breakpoints, like if you have 3 Evo, something happens, if you have 5 Evo, something else happens alongside that. And if you have 7 Evo, something else happens, you get all these effects. So, and then cards like uh, Kagamitsu, who, when when it dies, it, it summons an evolved version of itself, and then it gets stat buffs based on how many Evos you have. So yeah, it's, it's an evolution-based uh, deck with a lot of synergies based on that mechanic, mid-range deck. Uh, really low curve, uh, curve ends at five essentially and um it allows it's basically a true sword style deck where you get really really good board presence now let's talk about the actual like um the actual core card so let me remove the ones that are, are not core okay here we go so the core of the deck is 31 cards, alright? So we got Kagemitsu, which is a 1-drop, but you never play it for 1, you essentially play it for 3. When you play for 3, it turns into a 2-1 rush, and it dies, and when it dies, it'll summon another Kagemitsu at the start of your next turn, who evolves. Um, Twin Sword Master is a 2-drop, that can get a free evo, uh, combos very, very well with Leisha. Steadfast Samurai is a... 1-1 one, one that costs 2, uh, it's invincible in combat, so it'll never ever die in actual direct combat, but it can be killed by spell damage. Uh, it does have a free evo if you play for 5, and then when you do evo it, then it gets storm, and then it just it makes your leader invincible to spell damage effects. Peko is a evo synergy card. Uh, she's basically a blitz lancer, but if you union burst her, which this deck can easily do because you have so many evos, you can play it early, then she gets this big stat buff and also deals 5 damage to enemy followers. So you get like this big 2 for 1 effect and a huge body, which is really good. Gel is one of the best 3 drops that Sword has. Full stats, gets rushed when you have a commander, and then when it dies, you draw another commander um, at the start of your next turn. Lady of the Lance is one of the new cards from the mini expansion. Um, it's another Blitz Lancer, but it has an additional effect. If you have at least 2 commanders in your hand, then it gets Bane, it kills anything. And it also gets a Divine Shield effect, where the first time it takes damage, then it'll just it'll be negated completely. Very, very strong. Courtly Dance is a card that costs 3, and it pulls a 1-cost and a 2-cost follower from your deck. Now, that's a very, very weak effect, because our only 1-cost follower is Kagamitsu, and we never want to play it for 1. So, essentially, we play Courtly Dance for its Enhanced 8 effect, which pulls 3 cards, a 1, 2, and a 3, and evolves them. Uh, so essentially, even though Courtly Dance costs 3, it's best to think of it as an 8 cost card. And well, we're a mid-range deck that wants to be aggressive, so you never want to run that many 8 drops. So I think 2 copies of Courtly is correct. Leisha Sky Saber is a 4 drop that you never play on 4. You generally want to combo her with an Officer. So most of the Officers in this deck cost 1 and 2, so she's usually a turn 5 or turn 6 play. Uh, if you play an officer, she free evos and she attacks, then you get a, a nano, which is a 1-1 one, one bane. Um, 2 is the core number. Uh, a lot of people run 3, but really it depends on how many officers you run. If you don't have that many officers, then it can actually be somewhat difficult to activate Leisha. So that's why I have 2 as the core, but if you have more officers, then you should play 3. Shizu is one of the main evo uh, payoffs for this deck. Um, for one, she's really, really good going second. Because then she turns to a 5-7, she heals 3 damage at the end of the turn. And then if you Union Burst her, then she gets a free evo and also deals 3 damage to the enemy leader. Arya is one of the main evo uh, payoffs. 
It's got all these different effects, but the most important one is... Well, they're all important, honestly, but... If the game goes on for a long time, then the 7 EVO threshold allows you to draw until you have 7 cards, so you get to refill your hand. Uh, she gets a cost reduction effect at 3 EVOs, so she costs 2 essentially at that point. 2 mana, 4, 5 ward is pretty good. And then you can even heal yourself for 5 at 5. And then Amelia is the one of the new cards, the new legendary from the mid expansion. She has a she's really, really strong. She's understated, but then if you she draws two cards, two officers, and then if you evolve, then you get to choose one of those officers and give it a minus three cost reduction. The best targets are these two, Gelts and Lady of the Lance. Uh, generally, if you have two commanders in hand, then it's, but it's best to play Lady of the Lance, because the Divine Shield is really strong. If not, then Gelt's the next best target. So those are the core cards. Now let's talk about the cards that are optional. Um, one of the things that we have to think about is Lady of the Lance. Lady of the Lance is really important in this deck. You really, really need this Divine Shield effect to go off. So that means we need to run a high amount of commanders. So because of that, there are two choices for low-cost commanders. Incidentally, two mana commanders going first curve well into Gelt on three because he gets Rush. So you can choose either between Dauntless Commander, which is a 1-3, Splendid Fencer, which is actually not that great in this deck, I don't recommend it. So really just Dauntless Commander and this one, Pompous Prince. Where is Pompous Prince? Here it is. Alright. Um, between the two, Pompous Prince is better in a vacuum because it's got better upfront stats, right? 2-2 two, two versus 1-3. Uh, it does have an Evo effect, which is quite strong, right? It buffs all the officers in the deck. But honestly, the Evo effect is not really that relevant. Just If you can get it off, then great, but don't go every way to get it. Uh, some people like to run Ivory Sword Dance at either two or three copies. Um, this is optional. I don't run any of my deck, but it's, some, it's something to consider. A very greedy option is to run Mirror Image, which I think personally is awful. This card is very bad in a vacuum, but it does allow you a high roll. Especially if, com if you combine it with uh, Kagamitsu. It allows you to get a bunch of free Evos. Elegance in Action is another option for the two cost slots. If you need more officers to activate Leisha, then uh, usually just play for two. And it'll, since we have mostly followers, it'll summon a 1-2 officer, which will activate Alicia. That's, that's an option. I personally don't play Elegance because I feel like it's unnecessary since we already have Alicia. Alright. Um, at the three cost slots, one option is Gabriel. This is a sword deck that is board based, so Gabriel is good. It is a good, consi good consideration in any board based deck. Also, combos very, very well with Kagamitsu. I personally don't run any Gabriels in my deck for a certain reason, but Gabriels is a very popular option, um, especially if you want to give away some reach. Gabriels is a very, very snowball effect, especially going first. Another option to consider is this one, Tsubaki, it's an officer. So it's another good hit off of Amelia's Evo effect. Um, if you're having trouble dealing with big bodies in late game, then Tsubaki can be helpful, because she just destroys them. And she's also an ambush, so she has good synergy. It allows you to make aggressive plays. Um, now the, the other one is Leisha. Uh, I have three in my deck because I actually have a certain amount of um, officers. Oh, I, I forgot something actually. Going back to the two cost. Uh, Leisha, having, the thing is like for norm, most normal Evo Sword decks, this is all the your low cost officers. You have Kagamitsu, Twin Sword, Steadfast Samurai, it's nine. In order to consistently activate Leisha, 9 is generally not enough, so I like to have more officers. So in my deck specifically, I run Valse, who I think is one of the most underrated sword cards. I feel like not enough people play this card, I don't, I don't understand why. It's pretty good actually. I have 2 in my deck. It's a Leisha activator, and you don't feel too bad about playing it with no synergies, and it, it even has an Evo effect too. It's a 1 card answer to uh, Shadow's Aenea, so I like, I like Valse. Uh, at the top end, one card to consider is Wildcat. Now, this card allows you to get a ton of burst damage later on if you combine it with like one of the low-cost cards. So like, late game, if you have a Kagamitsu who's summoned freshly after the Enhance, then you could use it on Kagamitsu. After you get this 10 Allied Followers uh, destroy condition for a ton of burst damage, you could, you could also combine it with Ariet after the cost reduction. Or in turn 10, you can also combine it with uh, Union Burst Peko. So this gives you a lot of damage. The more important reason as to why I'm running is because it's Commander. And we really need as many Commanders as possible. 
to uh, activate Lady of the Lance. So I have three in my deck. But honestly, um, any amount of Wildcats is fine, just based on your preference. Uh, the last core card, or the last optional card that I want to mention is Zeus. I hate this card, but a lot of people run it at one copy. Uh, Sword is not a class that can ramp, so if you do run Zeus, you need to be aware that this is a card that will be dead in your hand for the entire game until turn 10. And a lot of games don't go to turn 10. But sometimes you're playing like against a grindy deck and you just can't defeat them, they keep wiping your board, and Zeus just allows you to steal games. And honestly, I even have an example of that game on my channel. If you see one of the earlier videos, is a video I'm playing as Control Blood against Sword, and I'm just destroying the guy the whole game, and then he OTKs me with a 6 evil Zeus, through a ward even. So yeah, uh, a 1 of Zeus is fine. I don't like it personally, because most games don't go to turn 10, but it's a card that can allow you to win games that you just have no business winning, so it's just up to your personal preference. So yeah, that's Evo Sword. Mid-range deck based on Evo synergies. Um, I personally do not recommend new players to build this, because number one, it's, a, it's very, very expensive. Um, vast majority of the cards, the key cards, are golds and legendaries. And in terms of power level, it's not even that good. Like, it's, I would say it's tier 2, and that's being generous. Like, it's probably like more realistically tier 3. So yeah, not a deck I recommend to new players, but if you like Sword, then yeah, just build this. It's, it's a really fun deck. It's the most interesting Sword deck, in my opinion. But yeah, I feel like that's like one of the reasons why Psy Games doesn't really do nerfs that much. Because like even when certain classes or decks should get nerfed, they end up deciding not to nerf because, because of rotation. Because like, okay, well, we need to allow this class to have a chance to shine. Because if we nerf now, then they never get a chance to shine. So, I don't know. That might be it. I think this will be the last game with Evo. After this, I'm going to try Machina. So, win or lose. We're doing Machina after this. Because, like, back then, when side games did nerfs, like, really often... Um... Shoot, what should we play here? Twin Sword Revolves. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because back when, uh, back in the day when side games did nerfs more often, like I think there were definitely some cards that got like unrightfully nerfed. Because like they got nerfed and then they never got changed back, and then because of that, it just screwed some classes over for a long time. So I guess maybe they want to avoid that situation. All right, if he has nine on four, we lose immediately. We lose instantly. We instantly lose if he has Noin here. So he trades here, goes face, plays Noin, kills off the Gelt. Please don't have it. So that I can have a chance at winning. Don't be so cold. He has it. We lost. Seriously, man. How do they always have it? I don't understand. How are blood players such like gods? Wait, what? Excuse me? You realize you can attack with this, right? It's not a suicide trade. Why didn't you... Okay, this guy's dumb. You know, the sad part is even though this guy misplayed, he's probably still gonna win. Because 9 on 4, by the way. Um, do we have a trade here? I guess I should play around uh, Metal Blade Demon, right? This is going to turn to a 5-6. Sure, we'll trade. We are not the beatdown. We are the control in this matchup. His, most of, his best answer here is to play Metal Blade, Demon, or the 3-drop. He does have it, okay. I was able to stop him from drawing an extra card there. But he does clear my board this way. He can go to suicide trade. Sure. Peko Leisha. This always happens. Do I just play this? I think I do, right? 
Next turn, we do Leisha into the other Twin Sword. And I don't know what we do turn 7. I don't know what we're doing turn 7. I know what turn 8 is, at least. We're at just 1, wow. Not what I expected. So I know he has Almachinus, unfortunately. So, next turn, we lose the game. Because he has Almachinus. Probably. That's really good. My dear old friend. Alright, let's go. I like Isabelle's Bells. Yo, me too. Me too. I'm all about Isabelle's Bells. This always attacks. I'm actually going to attack here because I want the 1-1. Even though technically we shouldn't attack, but I do want the 1-1 Death Touch. So I'm going to do this to get uh, Nano. And we're just going to waste a double attack, sadly. Okay. Here comes Almachinus to ruin the day. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of Isabel's redesign in the story mode. They made her face look better, but then they nerfed like everything else about her. So like, obviously, like her cup size went down like at least two sizes, maybe even more. And not only that, they nerfed her curves too. She's a lot less curvy. She used to have like this insane like waist to hip ratio, and now just it's she looks very normal, which I'm not all about. Like it's a free trade here, so. Boy, time to lose. This is ready. This is not ready. One second. Should I just play the Ariat here? That, get, that gives me a good board, so I think I'll do it. But even though we don't get the heal, we do get the reduction. Let's do that then. If I attack here, two health, it's gonna be three. Yeah, Mega Shot Devil is a pretty big mistake too. Like free quick players every turn. That that's, that should be a sword card, not a blood card. He probably has Noin here, so we lose. Most likely. Most likely, right? Okay, you can't evil that. Change wing. Oh my God. Oh my god, if only... Oh, we can't get it, never mind. We have to do this, right? We have no choice. We have the trade here, right? I think.
How do we do this? I would love to go face, but I don't think we can do that. I think this is the right play. We're so close to killing him. Shoot. If he has like zero cost monos, we could just get wrecked here, sadly. This is a close game. We're dead to a lot of things, yeah. We're dead to double mono. But I mean, was there really any way we could play around double mono? I don't think so. Especially after the Almachinus, he could have like zero cost mono, so we can't play around everything. Alright, how much did that cost? Let's see. We're dead, right? What? What are you doing? Does he have some zero mana way of... What? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. You fool! We won. Right? We did it. Yeah, okay, this guy messed up. He had double mono, but wait, was there any way he could have killed me? I'm not sure. Sorry, I'll be back. I gotta go pick up something. That's the problem with Machina Blood. Like, there's so many matches against them that are just unwinnable because their cards are just like so overtuned. Where my blade dances, heads roll. I hope you're ready to escort me. Going first again. That's good. We don't want Kage going first. This is fine. Alright, this is good. So I got Vols on 2, Galt on 3. I'll probably try to save Lady for later in the game if I can get the Divine Shield off. They all play these really aggressive lists now, I see. Interesting. That's really good. Amelia is excellent. We never trade here. Lady is ready, actually, because we have two commanders. Okay. Okay, we can prevent the Noin here. This is very good. Hmm. Now the question is, do I care about the Noin at this point? We can prevent it, but honestly, I think it's better to, like... Actually, let it happen. We just play Wildcat this turn, and then next turn we Amelia into Lady. I think it's actually better. Although, the problem with this play is that I don't have enough commanders, so I have to top deck another commander. Actually, that might have been a misplay, huh? Shoot. Hmm, I don't know. That, that's tough. I can't decide if it was better that turn to do Lady to get rid of all the Machina cards, or to play Amelia. He did have annoying, of course. They always have it. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it to do that. Mm. In my opinion, it was worth it, but I could be wrong. Okay, we got we top deck. Yes, beautiful. We top deck. Okay, we're ready now. Exactly what I wanted to see there. 
beautiful. I shall paint over the I will support the vanguard. Carry on. Okay. So this goes here. This goes here. This goes here and this goes here. So we have a bunch of threats now on board. Next turn we have Leisha into Twin Sword. And then turn seven is probably gonna be the enhanced on Amelia. Techno Lord, okay. Forcing the Techno Lord this early is very good. It's a reactive play. But still, it's kind of disgusting. This deck has literally everything. Best AoE, best healing, best board, um, best late game finisher, best everything, honestly. Like, man, whatever happened to weaknesses and strengths? What's he thinking about? There's nothing you can play, dude. If you're thinking about pre-fusing, there's no point, because he's not going to, like... He's not going to mill. There's no risk of milling at this point in the game. Alright, so Leisha... Into Twin Sword. Evolve the Twin Sword for free. And I'm going to attack here to get the Nano. Okay. Amelia on seven, let's go. Finally, he doesn't have, like, literally the perfect turn. It still allows him to draw cards, though. That's sad. So next turn, we just get blown up in Alamachinus, most likely. Give me a card that's playable. Shoot. I guess we get Vols here. Yeah, we get Vols here. Man, this sucks. We have to kill off our own Nano. I really would have liked to keep it alive, but it's not possible at this point. Alright, well, if he has Amakinus, he just snipes that off for free. We have Courtly on 8, but at this point, um, I think my own, my win condition is now to hope he never drew Amakinus, but that's probably not going to happen. They always have it. Yeah, of course he has it. Okay. So he deals with this board for free. And this is probably where we lose. Okay, Broken Leader Effect number one is active. He even has a 10 Mocking is destroyed, so that means his... Um, his Noins are active too. Which is quite fair and balanced. Alright. Yeah, there's no other way to do it. We're doing it. Let's go. Okay. What's seven Evos? We didn't draw a single uh, R yet, though. That's kind of sad. I need for this guy to have a really weak turn. So far, all of his turns, outside of just one of them, were really strong, because, yeah. Pretty hard to break with Machina Blood. Of course he has annoying. Okay, we're dead now. Time for gigantic boards that cost nothing. Techno Lord, yay! That's the second one. Uh, typically, Machina Blood doesn't run uh, multiple Techno Lords. They only run two. 
Yeah, he's, he's already played two, so I think we're fine now. Do I ever play this again? Kagami to... One has died. We still have three drops left. This might actually be a Corley Dance turn again. I wonder if I should do this. We could also do Shizuru as well. That's another co consideration. If I do Kage... Hmm. No, I like Corley Dance more. Actually, hmm. No, I think we're fine. That's good. <laughs> All right, that's a lot of stats. Oh my god. All right, he has no more Techno Lords. Unless he's a crazy person who runs three. No more Techno Lords, so... The only way he can deal with this is if he has another Almachinus. Oh, I called it. There it is. Snipe four. Probably going to make a defensive play with Noin this turn, that's my guess. Mono... Yeah. Double Mono, okay, yeah. He's going to go face with everything except for the um, Almachinus, most likely, that's my guess. Yep. Alright, we just take 15, because why not? Yeah, what a fair and balanced deck this is. Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's really good, actually. 4-3-3. Hmm. Three, three. Let's do it. We even get the heal, too. This is sick. Let me see something. So... This happens... We have to kill one of the monos. The other mono we can just leave at uh, 5 because it'll kill itself. I'm really worried about this little mecha thing though. Should I just kill off my pack? I don't know if it's worth it though. Two monos? Hmm. I guess this works. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that works. That works. So his mono dies now. Quite the ruthless one, aren't you? Does he have another mono into some board? Five mana Techno Lord. Okay, Almachinus, yes. No self Free Evo. The 10 followers of Sword requirement is way too free. That, that really needs to change. It's just, it's just an afterthought, honestly. Too easy to reach. Of course he has this card too. Okay, we're dead. I don't think there's any way we can deal this board, actually. So he doesn't trade here, and he lets the buff happen. And then we die, because this is a giant board. Um, what can we do here? I think we have to Amelia, right? Yeah, we have to. We need Lady the Lance. That's, I think, our only hope now is to find Lady. We didn't get Lady. That's not good. We have Guilt. Oh, wait a minute. If I play... Oh, that works, that works, that works. Never mind, we have a better, better plan, actually. This, if I'm, if my math is correct, this Luxblade Aria is going to re recover PP for us. Let's see if I'm right. Nice, I am right. Okay, it works. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's really good. Okay. What can we do now? This always happens. This always happens. Right? 
Yeah. And this always happens. Unfortunately, we, we can still die to a multitude of things. And, wow, I can't believe I still have one evil point. But he has two cards. Let's see if he ever finds his last mono. Confectioner cannot find mono, but the leader effect might kill me at this point. Carob, Snipe, yes. He had another Alpha Drive! Oh my god, wow. Jesus Christ, this deck literally has everything. Yeah, and he's BMing me, of course, yeah. Congrats. Winning with your tier 0 deck, you must feel so proud of yourself. That was a close game though, holy crap. It's just kind of unbelievable that this deck can literally come back in like every situation. Like, I blew him out of the board so many times, but it didn't matter. The Presto Changeo. Like, if you are really that pissed off at Amulets, you might as well play Formbender. It's so much better. And Triple Absorption. It's kind of unbelievable. Where my blade dances, heads roll. Okay, we're going second this time. I think I actually keep this going second. Takage? The Kagamitsu followed up by Gabriel is pretty strong. I swear to god, I hope this is not another Hades. Yeah, our win con against Shadow is Samurai, just hope they can't deal with it. Please don't be Hades, that deck is so cancer, it's not even good, but it's just so annoying to play against. It looks like it's Hades. Probably just goes face here, right? Yep. Alright. What is up with all these shadows, like these really, these GM players playing Hades, I don't understand. I thought like the good shadow deck was like Shootin' or Thoth, like this is the second Hades we played against today. I don't quite understand the appeal right now. Okay. So next turn, we're gonna Gabriel this turn I think. Like, yeah, how, do they, how do they always have Mecha Wing on 2 into this? Alright, this is what we're doing. We're gonna Gabriel this thing. We're gonna Evo first. And then we're just gonna hope they can't deal with this. This is a 4 4 right now, I think. Alright, please don't have removal. Please don't have 3 cost removal. If he doesn't have it, we probably win. Yeah, bootleg Shizuru. Oh my god, he doesn't have it. Okay. Okay, the ward's gone. Okay, here's the question. <clears throat> no, I know, I know what we're doing. This is what we're doing. I was thinking about playing a... Oh, baby. Our win condition has arrived. I was thinking of playing, uh, yeah, Lance into Prince. But because we have the commanders now, I think this is actually better. Prince, or Lance. Because we have two commanders now. Wait. Okay. Last. 
Yeah, Lance and Prince was another consideration. It puts us at 7 health, so it's hard to deal with. If he plays Hades here, he dies, so he has to kill both of these. That's so lucky. Of course he has it. <clears throat> this game is definitely going a lot better than the last game we had, though. If he kills that, can he kill these two? Let's see. Ghoul. I think we just ignore him now. Yeah, he needs Skelebro. That's lucky. Alright, that's good, that's good. Wait, this is lethal. We got it. I almost missed that, well. Yeah, boy. I almost missed that. I was thinking of playing uh, Leisha into Twin Sword, but that was actually lethal, so yeah. Alright, that works. That's better. Oh!